All right, guys, we're well, back today with a very impressive LPVO or low power variable optic. This is the EOTech Voodoo first focal plane one to six. And because it's a first focal plane, as you zoom in and out, the reticle gets larger and smaller. Having a first focal plane optic definitely has a ton of advantages, but one of the largest disadvantages of a first focal plane optic is when it's at the one power setting, sometimes the reticle gets so small you can't make out what's going on or you can't even see it enough for close-up shooting. The EOTech Voodoo lineup with the SR2 and SR3 reticle system resolves that issue. This is what the reticle looks like at the one power setting with a large CQB reticle system allowing you to take shots up close, but when you zoom it in, the center reticle, which is rather small, expands, gets larger, and gives you some information for distance shooting. We'll be looking at the reticle more in the future of this video, but I really wanted to discuss the overall specs and features and performance down at the range. Before we get too far into it, I also want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sending over the 223 to help make this video. This is some great running and accurate ammunition. And a little tip for you guys is Bear Creek Arsenal makes 223 wild 18 inch barrels and this ammo runs perfectly in it. If you were looking for a high value pair, that's a great option. I've got the code 704 tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200 and the code 704 tactical for 5% off your Bear Creek Arsenal order, including those 223 wild upper assemblies. But enough about that. Let's talk about this optic. Now, Optics Planet sent this out to the channel for us to try at my request and i've been talking to these guys a while about getting one of these they also created a code 704 tac or 704 tac for five percent off your optics planet order and that's where this one is available and in fact it's actually on sale now this is not the cheapest optic in the world the msrp on this guy is right around fourteen hundred dollars they're on sale for as low as about $12.72, depending on which configuration you get. They have a lot of different reticle selections and the illumination shifts from a green or red, depending on the version you get. I've selected the green. Now, down at the range, one of the first things I noticed was how clear the glass was and how usable the reticle was. And that's a big deal for a first focal plane LPVO. This is actually a 30 millimeter tube and the turrets themselves are not locking and that's a complaint i have right off the bat with this optic i wish they were locking turrets especially for about 12 or 1300 dollars but they do the job also i felt turrets with much nicer clicks than this this one almost feels just a little bit like a four or five hundred dollar turret setup rather than a $1,200 turret setup. Normally I'm used to feeling really solid detents and clicks to know exactly where I'm at and to kind of track clicks going up. Now don't get me wrong, you can feel them. They're good turrets and they track amazing. So there's no real complaints about the actual turrets themselves. I've just felt better on a $1,200 scope. But that is where the complaining ends. This thing is a spectacular performer down at the range. Now the optic itself, instead of just rotating a particular zoom lever, almost rotates the entire back half of the optic. And I believe that's in part due to the lens system that they have built in here, allowing you to get a good sight picture of both the one power and six power setting. Another fault of a lot of optics, especially first focal plane LPVOs, is they're rather bulky or they don't do the first one power setting good or the six power setting good. This one nails both the one power and six power settings with no issue whatsoever. The one power is truly one power and it doesn't have a lot of edge distortion. The six power setting is also really nice at the six power setting, giving you a great sight picture. The eye box and eye relief is also very, very good on this optic. At the one power setting especially, you have an insanely large field of view and an insanely large eye box, meaning you can move left, right, up, or down and still make out the sight picture without it blacking out. It's also very forgiving for being close up and far away, making this perfect for CQB applications. That's the great thing about a one to six. 
At the one power setting, you can use this as a pseudo red dot, and this also has the illumination on the side, but then you can zoom it into the six power setting with the included throw lever, and at that point, you can take distance shots, especially with that reticle system designed for your specific caliber for bullet drop compensation and windage adjustments. This one is also an illuminated reticle, and as you can see in the intro, it gets fairly bright, but not necessarily like super daytime bright in every situation. It does get really bright, but not the brightest I've seen, but plenty adequate for everything you would need for personal defense or twilight or late evening, you know, or morning uh, hunting application. So that works out great. This is also really nice for hunting applications because you can track game across the field at the one or two power setting and get a very wide field of view, then zoom in for those precision shots. Now this is where I want to talk about the reticle selection in the instruction manual. You can see when it's at the one power setting, this large ring appears. As you zoom in, it disappears and only shows you that center dot with a bullet drop compensation for four, five, and 600 yards. The SR2 is primarily set up for 7.62 and the SR3 is primarily set up for 5.56. And you can see that ring, bullet drop compensation, and leader lines. And it gives you a ton of information about the optic itself and explaining how to use the reticle selection. In summary, this is probably one of the nicest first focal plane one to sixes I've used in a very very long time. There's a lot of others that I reviewed on the channel, so I can't tell you which one to get, but I can tell you this is at the top of my recommendations. There's almost no complaints other than some subtle things about the turrets, but everything else about this optic is absolutely spectacular. If they could make it just a touch brighter, I would be even more impressed, but it is plenty bright for almost every situation I can possibly think of. And if it's a bright sunny day, you can turn off that illumination and use the black ring and definitely make some shots that way. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you more information about a premium first focal plane optic that's going to be hard to beat if your wallet can stomach the price tag of about twelve dollars or $1,300. And again, a huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending this one out for the channel for us to try. Um, I just always appreciate their support. And remember that code 704TAC for everything on their website. Definitely input it. See if you can save yourself some money. And again, a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sending out the ammo. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.